Richie, I'm Harpist based in London and today is the day! I'm auditioning for the LMTO, so the London Musical Theatre Orchestra uh, Harp Dev position for the A Christmas Carol, which is a theatre plan for this December. So the audition is today and I'm really excited to show you today. So why am I doing this? I really want to bring classical music to a wider audience and to show life as a musician and how an audition works during Covid, I thought it would be really fun and interesting to have you come along. So the first thing I do today is I'm going to really prepare, I've got an hour before I go so I have a taxi coming in an hour because I need to move this one, hello. And so I first going to prepare a few excerpts and the audition warm up so that I know it's going to be prepared for today. So let's go! bag for audition day. Um, I oh, Travelling with a harpist with a harp is not really the most comfortable thing to do so everything has to fit in one bag. So I have my bottle of hot water because it's winter and it's really cold. Um, then <laughs> if you forget to take your shoes with you and I usually travel with big boots so I had experiences when if I forget these shoes then I have to either play bare feet or, um, well, it sucks and it doesn't look professional. Um, so, then take the music that whatever music you have to take, take the music with you. Otherwise, you can't play because you don't have the music. Really, really important spare sets of strings. If you don't have these, stuff happens. Um, and if you have a broken string, it's like playing with one missing note on the piano. You can't. I mean, no, no, no. So these, mm, they're your best friends. Um, so, oh yeah, because it's pandemic, set of masks, of course. Um, and most importantly, gloves, because it's freezing and my hands are going to be cold because of stress and, well, cold. So you want to have extra things to warm your hands. And earplugs, that sounds really basic. But um, musician's hearing is really important and it can be really loud when you're next to the harp. And also it helps me concentrate. So my earplugs are my best friends too. So, okay, I have to pack everything now because I'm going to leave. So, okay. <laughs> Where the audition takes place, obviously as a harpist, or a harpist, apart from being exceptional, they're early because, well, you have the harp to carry on and it's annoying. So, this is where I'm going to audition, but because I'm early, I'm going to walk around and see what's there to see. Come with me.
I found it, the gherkin. So happy. Anyway, problem, I've been walking quite a bit and um, Google Maps doesn't work that well in the city. So I have to find my way back because I'm starting in 15 minutes. So that's one of the disadvantages of wanting to explore. That you're late, well, we were so early before. So I need to go back, but I don't really know where. So we'll see. Anyway, wish me luck. person after me and I <laughs> the lift is not working today it's broken so we'll have to we'll have upstairs which is a nice woman to have so nice lady so that's really would be really helpful so we'll head back in a week and it was so nice to play for people because usually for the last lockdown I've played for a screen or for myself so it didn't feel like an audition too much it felt more like a mini recital um so that was good um so now back to the half upstairs and got my shoes on all right so all in all i played i think five minutes but it went well so it's good um got a taxi waiting Harp, and then going this way and taxi probably in hopefully 10 minutes i won't have to wait too long so. filming all around the places and going with a GoPro like this. It was really fun and I hope you enjoyed seeing what a harpies do on um, an audition day. Um, fingers crossed it worked and um, I might do another of these. Let me know if you would like some and it might be different with the lockdown now because I mean people are stuck at home. So stay safe um, and see you around. Bye! <laughs>